Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2, where we're picking up right where we left off. We have a gunslinger that has that Lucent Beam spell that we had just in the, uh, the last episode. Gunslinger, though, is not my favorite, uh, class to play. I just don't enjoy the, the style of fighting. We also have a Dragon Lancer, um, who has Shield of Thorns. But also has that crippling intellect which we saw in the last uh, episode as well. Reach jumping prowess of, of a plumber. So this person can jump really high is a bard. Average health, great mana, spin kick, stack dance. Stack or lost if you land. Always in strong. Wind wall. Let's go with the bard I think. I think we're gonna go with the bard. Alright, what do we wanna buy? We can't afford this stuff, it's too expensive. Increase damage from weapon crits. Max weight capacity is good. What's something that's like most of our money? What's most of 2800? This is. Take reduced damage while dashing. Like, I'll just buy whatever one thing is closest. Okay, these two are tied. Reduce the artifacts finder too. We haven't really used the artif the ar artifact. Architect. We haven't really used that yet. But it was 2500. So, I mean, if that's what we want to go with, that may well be what we do. Not the architect's finding. Oh, this is also 2570. So we have uh, reduced damage, finder's fee, or spin kick damage. I think we're just going to take the spin kick damage. We're very tall. This may let us uh, explore around the library a little bit. Probably not all of it. But like we could maybe <laughs> we maybe get uh, into trouble with it over there, taking on enemies we are absolutely not ready for. It's fun, but we definitely are one of those where to get like the small money we kind of wanna. We kind of want to spin kick to destroy things. I wish we had the like auto break um, ability. Like we could just walk over things and they would break because that would be amazing. It's not that we can't do this. We totally can. It's slow. I like to be faster. If there's a lot of stuff all at once. Alright, we got an artifact right up there. So this one's, I feel like, is the thing where, like, you do poison damage. Rated inklet. Um, poison damage for what we have is not the best, because we're more about the, uh, the, the, like, jump kicking on them and getting the larger damage. So let's see what weighted inklet is. Spin kicks deal 60% more damage. Okay. Do I love it? No. Okay, for stacked stuff, it's really good. We have to remember we can chain them too. Like we don't have to just uh, have one, which is wonderful. Is this okay? Yeah, there's stuff up there. Like with our super jump, this could potentially get really interesting. That was 
is rough. Okay, if it just stays nearby, then it just keeps doing damage. That's good to know also. even paying attention to the room and noticed there was a chest in here. Alright, we got a relic room. We still got 33 resolve to play with before anything bad happens. If you're not picky, everything can be delicious. That feels like it might convert mana into food. Um, you've al it was always the beard. Both of these are unknown. It's everything and like, do I no longer know what anything is? Was there some big update? Um, so I have exactly 33, so it feels like it's telling me to try this. So let's go for this. Defeated enemies, oh, have an 8% chance of dropping health drop. So I think that um, enemies have never, can't drop that and then, no, I got, I got, oh, I might be able to fix this actually. Okay, I can fix this. was, you know, longer than it should have been, but. Oh gosh. Hey, I'll take more food, that's fine. Oh gosh. That was a little bit dangerous. Alright. A little bit dangerous, not too dangerous. Oh, that's right, I can just super jump. We should also be using our spell. We aren't. But we should be... That was a little anticlimactic, but we did that. Go us. Not really what I wanted, but. Oh gosh. See, like, I bet bards could, if you're quite good with them, be excellent for bosses, because you can get stacks. And we can also like really control our crits here as well, because once it's gold, I believe it's going to crit. I see there's some I know. Well above 50% health. The sky is your playground, the floor your foe. Seems like it wants to give you damage for being on the floor. Uh, no thanks. I want my gold. We need upgrades. So, okay, because I have this. Oh, it feels like it knows. Like, look, I just, I just can't make it. <gasps> I'm not supposed to be here. That's almost assuredly, um, not a real chest, yeah. Oh gosh. 
73 damage. Oh my goodness. I am terrified. Oh, it's a boss. I mean, I can get through this, right? Like, yeah, I can. It doesn't mean I should. It just means that I can. I can't believe I left my notes behind. I can't believe I can't complete my research without them. We have to get past these. Can't get past the void doors without palace heirloom. I doubt the guards will fetch my notes for me. Perhaps I should try carrying palace's favor my own. She's somewhere in the study, and her power of the void would be very beneficial. I think I have that, which I gained through silliness. Um... Oh gosh, that's an awful lot. Maybe we just take the, the, the thing and, and we leave. We take the money and go. That's definitely not a real chest because I would say in the room if it was real. I'm terrified, we do not have the kind of health to, uh, to deal with that. <laughs> we do not. Alright. I would probably take damage there, so we just aren't going to. Alright, so I would say we should go to the Kerguelian Plateau now, but because I was messing around in the library, we're a little low on health. And I'd like for us to maybe... Oh gosh. I was gonna say gain some more health before we uh, go there. And I mean, we, we do have the 8% drop chance from enemies. So as long as we can... Uh, you know, not take hits, which is a really big ask for me. Yes, you are correct. fast. That works. Alright, where do I need to go? Let's, honestly, let's use the teleporter. This is good. We'll go there. Hope to find either an apple tree or something along those lines. I hear the little pointy thing. Great work, everybody. Oh, it says there's two chests in here. I guess that would make sense given the multitude of enemies. Okay, the first one's easy to get to. Second one seems like it's gonna be a little bit trickier. Maybe require us to go through some more enemies. Well, maybe not too many. But not none. No dashing, lose no health. Okay, so we can jump, but we cannot dash. I failed already. Oh my gosh, just do that. 
So remember how I said we need to not take damage? Destroy, oh, I am so bad at the puzzle ones. Cause it's all, it's, it's all dashing for this one. What is my special even here? Shout, convert all mid-sized projectiles into notes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I am not doing anything that I've set out to do. I, I really can't afford any more of that. Just, uh, move past it. I know I have had this obsession with kind of, you know, defeating all the enemies. Maybe it just doesn't make the most sense all the time, like, in bard runs. Alright. I have less health than we had before. In case anyone's keeping track as how well we are, you know, succeeding at our goals, uh, we aren't. We, like, really, really aren't. There we go. Alright, we're only going down here to get to the teleporter. Sun Tower. I don't think we're supposed to be there either. I think I do think we are supposed to. Let's go here just to see if any of those. There's two small rooms or maybe one big room next to it to see if either of them is the apple tree. It's not. A room nearby might be. Oh. Make it work for you, that's what you gotta do. I'm like, yeah, this is one of those ones where if you can just like, make it work. Then you can get everything. Oh no. Gosh. That works. Look at all that health we just got back. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it already. Bah! <laughs> that was too much silliness. But it, it, in the end, it did work out. Alright, we're, we're gonna go. We're gonna jump to the Kugulian Plateau. Let's go. Cause it's time that we start braving the new frontiers. And by that I don't mean the library yet. We aren't supposed to be there. Okay, so kick jumps are what kill those. Do you think we can make it? Okay, we got one. Warden's Helm. Oh gosh. Oh, duh, I can just jump. Just use your jumping powers, you silly. It 
was a wee bit much. Okay. The food, very helpful. Oh. Our kick jumps doing extra damage is certainly not bad. Oh gosh. So we can't, he can't reach me, but I can do damage to him, which I appreciate for myself given our current situation of panic. We're just, we're, we're exploring. We need to find new stuff. without like ever needing to rely upon the uh the thing although i don't think we even need to like i don't think we need that lily because we've beaten the boss here or at least we've unlocked the boss here Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we haven't beaten the boss here. Maybe you do have to find the lilies every time. Oh gosh. Gotcha. Alright, we finally used our ability and I think we used it well. I would even say we used it well. Lose no health. Okay. I failed. Our super jumping ability uh, did not help us out there. I don't really want to take this lily because if you take it... I'll take it in case we need to. A Lily of the Valley. It has damaged me because we didn't have extra resolve. And I don't remember. Oh no. If uh... Hmm. We're definitely gonna take damage there if we uh go that route. What's going to be here? I like that that works. So, yep, 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 there we go. We don't need to kill every enemy. Hello. Just get out of there. Another another journal page. My soldiers are good people, Z. They're just scared. They spent their whole life training so they could provide for their families. Not everyone can throw it all away. When the time comes, I'll do my best to pull the guards from away from the fight. But I can't move them all. They will be fighting on the bridge, and casualties will be unavoidable. All I can help train any rebels you've gathered. Give them a fighting chance, but I'll only do this under certain conditions. I will not fight. I'll train the villagers, but I cannot turn my sword against my own men. If we lose, we must disband the rebels. No one leaves war and skate. The estuaries will look kindly on a clean surrender. I can ensure it if it comes to that. And finally, you don't join the fight either. No use 
You are no use to the rebels dead, and this way I can be sure you're safe. Remember, all generals, all great generals die from old age. This may not be what you wanted, but those are my conditions. I hope you find the arrangement acceptable. Jay. I don't got any... Any spare resolve for this? I'm already low. That worked out. We got some blueprints for a warden's cape. We've got like a lot of the warden's stuff in this run. I assume there's just some things that you, like this stuff can only be unlocked by exploring new areas that you've not explored before. I'm so glad I looked up what to do with them because I just did not know. Loving the food. Keep it coming. Oh. Okay, well, that was a lot of damage. Uh oh, there's a second one now. I got you all. Should we go for the... Oh, that wasn't even for the chest, that was just to get out. Come on. It's like all of a sudden I'm struggling just to do my kick jumps. Um, this is a different... Talent. I don't want a different talent. I think we don't need this. I think we've done this, but... Oh, maybe not. Uh, it's been 100 days since the monsters arrived on the bridge and the gates were closed. For 100 days we've carried out our duties. We have nursed the wounded and rationed our food. 100 days have passed and now this eternal summer has faded. The ash and snow continues to fall, but instead of nourishing the soil, it suffocates the land. The earth is cold. The forest bows under the weight. If supplies don't arrive soon, all the villagers will perish, and without them, my force and centuries of careful stewardship will be gone. So that seemed like it was new. So there was an exclamation point over it. Where do I need to go? I need to go back, like a long ways back. Oof. I don't love that. Oh gosh, no. That was messy and I am disappointed with how it went. Okay, we need to keep going back. And we said no to that chest. Okay, if we go down in the next room over. Down here? Yeah, down here. Then we're in. Oh gosh. No mana. Maybe we let him live because we're a little low on health. Another lily of the valley. I feel like we don't need them. I'll come back for it if we do, but I thought we had already unlocked the door and I thought that was like the only thing that you needed the lilies for. Just my super jump there helping out. A boss room. Requires Aether's wings. But we don't have Aether's wings. But I could get up here because of reasons. Are Aether's wings not obtained in here? 
We've explored most of the area. We're only missing like this one room here. Another lily of the valley. No! Oh, I knew we were low on health, but I didn't quite see how low. I mean, we messed around the library for a little bit because of our jump, but we need Aether's wings, and I don't know where to get them. Perhaps I should look up. I don't want to. I want to explore the game naturally. Alright, well... It was a good run. We got a lot of gold, so we'll hopefully be able to uh, unlock some fun stuff. But we're going to do that in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.